I'm from Manhattan. I'm an old hippie that married a Navy guy. And he hated living in the city, so we moved to the Hamptons and we brought our kids up out there. The Hamptons was not a place for me anymore. It was all gentrified and the people were just horrible. So that's how we found Kaz. We went online and we found this place, which is phenomenal, and moved up here in 2007, right at the housing crash. And we're here and we love it. I've been doing artwork since I was a kid. Um, in Manhattan, I went to the high school of music and art. Then I went to the Museum School of Foreign Arts and graduated from there and just got married, and had kids, and did whatever I could to, to be able to do my artwork. It, no, I never thought I'd be doing this, so I just lucked into it, you know, with Dwayne working at the school. And I get to go to school for, for free, which is lovely, but I've, I owned an advertising agency, and then I owned the hand-painted needlepoint and, uh, company. And I never thought, at that time, I was a graphics major. Um, but when this opportunity came up, you know, to go to school, I could not turn that down because I get to play and take painting. And, and my style is a lot different now, too. So it's really a growth opportunity for me. Kim Wally was my first teacher. And um, it was a figure drawn figure in 3D form. It was a very crazy class in great part because Val was in the class and as you know Val is not a quiet subdued person <laughs> Val is like the energizer bunny and she's full of ideas you know both her body and her brain are kind of energizer bunny like she never stops moving she never stops generating ideas she never stops thinking and so what she brought to that class was a ton of creative and intellectual energy and it was fantastic. I just, I like to play, I like new materials, I love metals and it's like everybody, Anita's like, oh you gotta take painting this year and Kim says, oh you're coming to glass and so I'm excelling at each class that I'm doing, which is great. She um, certainly has a, a much greater experience with media. I mean, for instance, she had never worked with casting glass or kiln form glass before. And, you know, one of the great things about her is that she doesn't sort of hang back. You know, she, she's not afraid to try things. She takes risks that the majority of people would never take. And what this means is she learns really fast. And I feel, first of all, all the kids keep me young, but I'm the class mom too, which I love being, because you guys are my babies, and I'm proud of all of you. So, no, I never thought I'd be doing this. I love hands. I love the human body. I think it's great. I prefer, like, roly-poly models, you know, and, I like two dimensional and three. I can't. It depends upon the year it is and the mood I'm in. But when I'm working in jewelry, it's pretty fine. So I think it helps me. My it helps keep my MS more fluid. Um, but it's a lot of concentration. I used to do a lot of things with penises just because they're fascinating, <laughs> and they're just there's nothing like them. Like the shapes of them and different ones. I mean, I made that penis lamp as a nightlight for my first grandchild, so. But I have a daughter who's, who wants it, so. They, I don't know if it's shock factor or what, but they like what I do. I'm hurrying up with all these rings because I'm gonna do that. I'm finally gonna let go of the stuff because I wear it, I wear it all usually because I like it. I have a website to sell my things. But, um, like the cobbler's kid who has no shoes, my husband's a computer guy, and I can barely like Facebook people. I'm really bad on the computer. So one of these days, I'm gonna get a website up and sell online. Because I don't know what to do with this stuff. I'm running out of room to store it or, 
you know, I don't know, maybe I'll donate it to somebody or something. Just recently I bought a little ring from her, a little cast bronze ring of a bee, which I of course love. Um, I also have a painting that she gave me, a landscape painting, and I look at it every day. Um, and I, I saw her making it. I was driving out to Casanova. She was set up, she had an easel set up opposite the lake, and I saw her painting. I was like, wow, I can't wait to see what this painting looks like. I loved it. And I told her, I would like to buy that painting. And her reaction was, really? You're crazy. You want to buy that painting? I said, yes, I would like to live with that painting. She said, you can't buy it, I'm giving it to you. And there was absolutely like no debate. I couldn't buy it. I have muscle spasms every night, which is why I have a morphine patch. And thank God I just got legal marijuana because, you know, it really helps it with muscle spasms and things. Um, nothing else is fast enough. So yeah, it interferes. I'm exhausted sometimes. But I push through because um, I want to do everything I can. I've been paralyzed already, so and I know what that feels like. So I want to do as much as I can. And then if I'm paralyzed, at least I did it.